Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Dave Fluke, HespelerRocks.com, coming at you from the vault in downtown Hespeler, Ontario, 15 Queen Street East. Today we're going to be talking to Zach Wilson, owner of The Vault. So let's go in and see what The Vault has to offer. Welcome to the vault. Uh, my name is Zach. I own the vault. Everything horror, you know, you can find here and stuff. I grew up with horror, surrounded by horror, and uh, that's what I've done with my life is decided to make it into a store and, and allow other people to come into it and find some some treasures and things like that. You know, uh, we deal uh, with a lot of stuff. You know, uh, we got lots of posters, original posters. We like a lot of the original stuff. Of course, we sell reprints as well. Um, but original is, is where collectors like to be and stuff, the ones that were taken out of old theaters and stuff like that. Uh, so any kind of, any kind of, you know, childhood movie that you, that you ever enjoyed, we can get it in, you know, either uh, in a reprint or an original. We, uh, we cover every variety of film, you know, tracking down all the rare films. So we do Laserdisc, VHS, Beta, DVD. 8mm, just got some good 8mm films in the other day and stuff actually as well. Um, as you can see, I mean the majority of stuff mixed around is definitely collectible stuff, figures, um, different movie props and movie memorabilia. Uh, we always try and stick to the new release stuff, the stuff that's just been released finally for the people that uh, you know have been looking and searching for it for a long time, so we stick to that stuff. Um, we get into the CDs, vinyl soundtracks, everything, uh, everything that uh, you know, genre related. We sell, um, we sell a lot of the back issue magazines from all the old stuff from the 50s all the way up. Lots of, uh, lots of books, new and used. Um, you know, film rating books, filmmaking books, different things like that to get the kids into uh, the horror and, you know, just film, filming in general. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be, you know, horror science fiction per se, but uh, there are books on filmmaking and editing and different things like that. Um, over here we got a lot of t-shirts. We got t-shirts in different places, but I keep most of the t-shirts out here and stuff. So there's a, a wide mixture of science fiction and horror and cult. Um, in thriller t-shirts and stuff. We're always bringing in new stuff. Uh, we use a supplier out of uh, Milton, Twisted Tees. My buddy Daryl does, uh, you know, great, great prints as you can see and stuff. The stuff that they do is, you know, just, you know, bar none the best you can get. And I, I try and bring as much stuff Canadian, do as much Canadian trading and the buying as I can and stuff. Um, so, uh, you know, they're, they're probably the best uh, best t-shirt uh, company that you can go, Twisted Tees out of Milton, so that's where our new stuff comes and we get new prints in, you know, every a couple of weeks and stuff, it's always changing and stuff like that, so, um, but yeah, wide variety of different stuff, board games, you know, original uh, board games from the, you know, all the way down from the 60s all the way up and stuff. Um, cards, you know, old uh, collectible card sets, things like that, uh, models, um, there's some more soundtracks and stuff as well, like I said, we sell a lot of, you know, old school stuff, uh, we like to keep to the retroness of it, I guess you could say, uh, lots of books, old school books, books on movies, books on everything, uh, Stephen King, you know, Dean Kuntz, the, the whole world of uh, uh, horror and science fiction on books and literature. Lots of collectibles. I mean, we got collectibles everywhere. This is the new DVD section, so everything that, uh, you know, is DVD that's new for sale, we stick it there. Box sets included. 
This section here is all for uh, VHS and stuff. The, the majority of stuff that we sell is a lot of the rare movies that have yet to be put on the DVD might not get put on the DVD, those lost films. So we have collectors come from all over Ontario purchasing those and stuff, looking for those old, uh, you know, favorites from when they were a kid and stuff. And as well, we also do the uh, VHS rental, which is probably, you know, I think my buddy Lewis at Suspect Video in Toronto does a little bit of VHS rental. I'm not 100% sure, but I'd like to think that we're the last people in Ontario who still rent out uh, the rare VHS. There's just, uh, there's nobody really left. Uh, a little bit of, a little bit in Kitchener, I think, at one of the places, Far Out Flicks, I believe, does a little bit of uh, the VHS renting, but uh, nobody like us. The collection that we have and the, the stuff that we bring in, uh, doesn't come close to what anybody else uh, can can get their hands on so that's why we have the people that come from where they come you know to get to acquire the stuff that we have to me it's just about imagination and stuff you know I uh, I like people's you know creativity and uh, I like thinking about things that you know aren't aren't normal you know uh, what ifs you know I like those kind of things and stuff aliens different things like that um, so to me with the horror it's just it's a lot of imagination where you don't get that in a comedy or a drama or these kind of things you know um, I like creativity so I like the idea of you know coming up with you know things and last minute things you know um, when you make horror movies and stuff you know a lot of the 80s movies the ones that I like and stuff it was you know, the spur of the moment, you know, we're out of this, we're out of that, you know, how are we going to find it, come across it, uh, and I, I like that, I like, uh, you know, to put things together and stuff, I just don't like it calm and easy, and I, I think that, you know, comedies and dramas and stuff like that, are they, they just flow so easily, I mean, it, you know, anybody could write something like that, but, you know, I like the imagination of thinking, you know, what if the guy had a fourth arm or a third arm or, a, you know, an eyeball in the middle of the forehead, you know, just neat stuff like that. Uh, it's just, uh, there's, there's, it's, you know, infinite. There's so much you can think about when you got a good creative, you know, imagination and stuff like that. So.